giving CJ a surprise birthday party? Checker, quiet down. If CJ catches us, we're dead. Quite literally. Oops, Tiki. Sorry, Earthy. Anyways, what are we doing here? <clears throat> well, considering I was almost eliminated last time, I'm not allowing myself to leave without some final revenge, so... We're essentially going to empty CJ's innards. He'll be so embarrassed that it'll be hilarious. <laughs> Isn't that really mean, though? I don't want to bully CJ. Uh, um, no, no. It's okay, Checker. CJ loves pranks. He'll, uh, he'll have a good laugh about it. <gasps> Yay, let's make CJ proud. <laughs> we sure will. CJ, CJ, come on, TV's looking for you. Jeez, can't a man get his beauty sleep? Oh, hey, C- Oh, my colonel. <laughs> the heck is so funny? You never have an off face in the morning, punk? <laughs> you may want to take a look in the lake, buddy. What in the toxic waste is she on about? I swear, any sort of humility is the most hilarious thing around- Rise and shine, everyone! It's escape day! Uh, what? Thanks to our ingenious friend, Spork, we finally have our means to leave. Cough drop, please. You're going insane. Get a therapist. Oh yeah? Watch this! Of course! You're so thin, you could just slip through the bars. You're a... Well, not a genius. You're a Q's equivalent to Cologne's weird rock girlfriend thing. And now, for the rest of you. Well, that was interesting. Now pull me up. Ah! Uh, wow, you're heavy. Have you been hitting the gym? Sorry, I might be a little heavy. Oh, we did it. Thanks so much, Spun! That was a little unnecessary. You know you should really be... Uh... Yeah, we might have a problem. Sorry, bro. I just don't think there's any way we can get you out. I could care less. You guys just go on without me. I'll just be here dreaming about the 99 cent chicken sandwich deal at McCornold's. Why not just pull her out through the side? Ah, oh, good idea! Well, I think that's everyone. Aren't we missing side? No. So, what now, geniuses? Well, I think it's quite simple. Yeah! We go make we a lot of deaths. money. What? what? Sorry, cough drop, but I have to agree with Stone. Now that we have freedom, we might as well take advantage of it while we still have the time. Thanks for having some intelligence, Pomegranate. Any other bread ideas? Ooh, what about the temple from the artifact challenge? I'm sure we can find some rare gems there. It's settled then. Let's head off. Oh yeah? Well, I have two loyal friends who believe in me. I refuse to move, and Spork can't. But yeah, loyal. Hey! You! Where is your biggest dollhouse? Uh, there in the back. But can you not be so rude? Jeez, some kids. Oh, well, this is $99.99. I don't have that money! Uh, how about your parents? My parents aren't here, you dumb camel! Can you please stop being so aggressive? No! Now let me buy this dollhouse! I can't, unless you give me the money. Oh no! Hammer!
Hey, wait, isn't this the girl on that one show? Yeah, it is. Say, you want help back to the set, little girl? Hmm, if you let me take the dollhouse. No, you know what, fine. <laughs> I always get what I want. All right, let's get going. Maybe I should take her. Your sense of direction is terrible. Hey, where did that come from? Well, here it is. I remember this place seeming a lot cooler when we did the challenge. Well, that doesn't change the fact that there's still tons of valuables in here. So, um, do you know why you got eliminated? Tried to help someone. Okay, I think you and I both know that's not a reason why people get eliminated. Fine, you got me there. Let's just say my methods were a little... extreme. Do I want to know what extreme is? Well, I simply pointed out the folder that cut card clearly doesn't care about her anymore. When I realized all she would do is cry about this information, I tried to... aggressively encourage her to deal with her problems. Stone, I don't think that's okay. Well, I'm sorry, but it just annoys me to watch people like her. I know she knows what's wrong, but she just sits there and does nothing but whine. Some might say what I did was harsh, but someone needed to get her off her. <gasps> it's you! You were the nice one! Please help me! It's been so long! Um, let's just keep on moving. No! Not again! Please! So, I think it's about time you start talking about your game, and whatever the heck that was about. Okay, CJ was the one who tied him up, and I couldn't stop him. Ugh, that guy. I would've liked to work with him, but he's just a dumb brute who solves his problems by force. Solving problems by force? Hmm, I wonder where that sounds familiar. Don't change the subject. I want to know, why did you get eliminated? Well... To be honest with you, I've I've had a lot of time to think about it in my cage, but I just can't think of a good reason why. I I I thought You thought your alliance would somehow keep you safe. Yeah. Look, Pomegranate, I'll be honest with you. You're one of the better ones here, so please don't be pathetic and rely on other people. You're above that. You know, when you said you would fake our deaths, I thought you were joking. <laughs> what do you mean? This is perfect. We're making a party for our deaths? You know who you're talking to, right? I call it the unfortunate and not good firework, uh, explosion thingy. <laughs> Since when did you have experience with blowing things up? Nah, bro. I've got a ton of successful experience with fireworks. Let's count this baby down. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah. How much should I bet that you get Darwin Award of the Year? We don't need an award for this. We blow this place up, change our name and identities, and we flee to Brazil. Now ready? Fire! I said, ready, fire! So much for a foolproof plan when the fireworks don't even work. The guy said that they were foolproof, bro. He also said something about confetti, saying, it's a boy, but that probably isn't important. Well, guess you got scammed. How can our great-minded cough drop help us out now? Maybe by forming an actual plan to fake our supposed death- Oh... Well, let's hope Objectville didn't see that. I can't be on the news, bro. But now we know these explosives actually explode. So let's take two of the unfortunate and not good firework, uh, explosion thingy. You know, this is why no one should trust you with explosives. Ever. Now let's light this baby up again. Three, two, one, fire! Alright, welcome losers! We're a bit late today, so we'll have to be quick. We got a total of 941 votes, which is... a record low? Wow, I wonder why. Shut up, Burger! Nobody cares! Anyways, Badge, you got 259 votes, which is the most! Your prizes are other people's items. 
Next safe is C. CJ, are you okay? What does it look like? Well, no matter your health, you're still safe with 194 votes. Wow, that bear would suit you amazingly if you weren't empty. <laughs> Earth, we have things to do. Shut up. Anyways, Burger, you're safe with 166 votes. All right, bottom two, the blue ones. And guess what? What? You both got 162 votes, meaning we have to do a tie. What the fuck? This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. What's that? <coughs> Whoa, that was epic, bro. I'm sure everyone's convinced we're dead now. See our mattress. I told you I could do it. I have no words. I'm not mad. I'm not even disappointed. I... I just... I don't know. That's the Spirit Air Mattress. Now I personally think some McCornolds is in store for us. What do you think, Spork? Great! Let's go- Hey! What's going on over there? What? They caught us? How? We were so totally sneaky. Mm-hmm. You tell yourself that. You'll never catch me alive! Wow. This is just sad. I'm glad we see eye to eye on this TV. Now where are the other two idiots? I ain't no snitch. You can suck it, TV. In the temple? Thanks, Spork. This is why you're my favorite. Spork, you teacher's pet. Well, that was a bust. You think? I am seriously disappointed in you all! You could have killed someone! You say that as CJ is still in the game. <laughs> Dang right I am! <sighs> anyway, since the cages are destroyed, you guys are allowed to stay out for now. Just don't mess anything up! You did enough of that already. Whoa, so we're getting no punishment. Awesome, bro! Hey TV, we have a tiebreaker to do. Chop chop! Yeah. Get this over with. Hmm. I have an idea. The five? Make it six. <laughs> I'm back. We had to listen to her for two hours. Well, girl, it seems the day has been saved. Wait, where's the dollhouse? We forgot it, didn't we? Don't worry, child. We'll figure out a way to get it to you. Ugh, shut it, you ugly penguins. You should be grateful I'm back. The show has been severely lacking without me. <sighs> Six eliminated contestants will get to vote on the two of you next episode. Hmm. Power. Feels nice. Come oh, on. come on, are you serious? Well, this is so rigged. Rigged, I say. And as an added bonus, one of the six eliminated contestants will rejoin. <gasps> oh, my God. Rejoining. He never said who was rejoining, Dimwit. Yeah, and if I had a choice, you really think I would pick you? <laughs> Funny. So, uh, how are we picking? The viewers will have the power. So, viewers, you actually get to vote for one of these six eliminated contestants. Eliminated contestants, tell the voters why you should return. Ooh, hold on. <clears throat> Haha, <laughs> I'm Spork. Vote for me, because I'm the lucky Spork. <laughs> Listen, viewers, it makes no difference to me whether you want me back or not. However, I do want to return. Cough Drop and Now Sign are going to be in the eliminated cages, and frankly, they'll make my time there unbearable. Please, just get me away from them. Yo, 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 what's up, my good homies? You already know I want to return and make this game fun again. Let's be honest, this game is pretty sleepy, like a lullaby. However, I can make this game a rave just by my presence alone. Please, viewers, it's my dream to come back. Oh, uh, I'd appreciate it if you viewers voted me back into the game. I feel as if my time was cut way too short, and I know I can do better this time. I become more aware, and I feel I can play this game better than before. So, consider voting for me, please? Since I already know I'm going to return, I'm not going to make a long speech for you fans. I'm just here to say that if you don't vote for me, you're a crusty cow! You clearly don't see that I'm better than everyone else. Okay, let's be honest here. My elimination was far from deserved. I still have so much in the game I need to do. 
Whether or not you agree with my methods, primarily by my relationship with Folder, I'm a strategist that takes risks instead of floating through the competition. If you're interested in someone who can actually change the game, vote for me. Also, Cough Drop is going to be drooling on my back any minute now, so please get me out. Hey, you, science lady! You have, like, a chemical I can borrow? Hmm... Wow! Purple! Where'd you find this? <laughs> he was gonna go to college! <laughs>